Dozens of family members and activists packed a Southern Indiana courtroom today to make an emotional plea for help. They're calling for justice for Tanisha Chapel, who died last summer after being held at the Jackson County Jail. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff says new evidence shows she yelled for help for several hours before being taken to the hospital. The family of Tanisha Chapel say they will not rest until they get justice. And they say that coming here to this courthouse was just one more step in that process. I just want to brush under the rug. The Jackson County Commissioner sat and listened as the crowd made their appeal. And I want to know what we're going to do different to make sure this doesn't happen again. Matt Reedy, president of the county commission, says they cannot legally intervene. Last month, the Jackson County prosecutor announced he was not pursuing any charges in Chappelle's case. According to his report, an autopsy found a probable toxicity of unknown substance, with manner of death being undetermined. And on Monday, the family's attorney released jail recordings that show Chappelle repeatedly told jailers that she was vomiting blood. Her pleas for help lasted 12 hours. I'm sorry. I'm throwing up blood. You're throwing up blood? My stomach. With your what? Your stomach? Yeah. I mean, I don't know what you want me to do unless you're coughing up something crazy. I need a nurse. Huh? You made me go to the hospital. It made me sick because she asked so many times. Chappelle's sister, Renisha Morell, says she believes the recording showed the jail staff should be held accountable. First and foremost, they need to fire everybody that was on that ship because there was no reason my sister didn't receive any type of attention. She didn't get any type of attention. She believes there has to be something the commissioners can do. They got a voice in this town. Like, they have titles. Make it count. Do something with it. Or it's pointless. It don't mean nothing. And she says this won't be the last time they see her. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.